In our One Health series, we've been talking about reducing antibiotic usage by understanding that antibiotic resistance is a great challenge for our farms and our families. So looking at something as simple as hygiene, how can that help? It can help in many ways. It can help in our farms. When we think about disease and infections, we must remember it's always a battle against the amount of infection and the amount of immunity there to fight it. We want to always maximize immunity and minimize infection. We minimize infection by good hygiene on our farms. We all know ways of doing this. Cleaning equipment, cleaning calving and lambing pens. Simple things like milking routine, how that can reduce infection. Teeth dipping, all really important. And there's an also very important aspect to hygiene for ourselves. Remember, we share the same environment with our animals. And it's important we don't bring infections into our own farming families. So good hand hygiene leaving your overalls and boots at the back door and washing your hands properly. And one of the key messages in this video for all farming families is just a simple tip on hand hygiene. And I get to talk to Dr. Martin Cormican, who's going to explain there's real science to, to washing our hands and can actually save lives. The particular thing is fingertips because that's what you touch things mostly with. Um, and then the spaces between the fingers are often missed. So there's a drill that you can go through that cleans the hands. And it's the same drill whether you're using soap and water or you're using alcohol gel. But just for convenience here, I'm using the alcohol gel, which is what we use a lot in the hospital because you can use this really quickly in the hospital when you get used to it. And, and this it, is critical in the hospital. Right? In the hospital, it's really important. But washing your hands is, is, it helps every place. And, and so the series of movements is, that again, soap or water or alcohol is, first of all, you want to wet all the surfaces of the hands. Okay. And then we go up and down the front to, to clean the hands. Okay. And then up and down the back, cleaning the fingers. And the fingers are spread out so that you're getting in the space. Then we make sure we get the finger ribs. And then we want to clean the fingertips. So we do that and you fold the thumb in as well. So you can clean the tip of the thumb. And then you clean the thumb, clean the thumb and the palm of the hand. And if you do that drill, then you get most of the bugs off your hands. And then, of course, if you're using soap and water, you have to dry your hands. And you want to dry your hands on a clean towel. Um, and I mean a practically clean towel in, in the real world. Uh, in the hospital, we use disposable paper towels, but that's not really practical in a, in a home or a farm setting, but just a clean towel. And the other thing that people often ask is, should I be using antibacterial soap? And the answer is, plain soap and water is fine. Well, I suppose in a practical setting in a farm, and you often think of diseases like, I know it's not a bacteria, but protozoan cryptosporidium can come from you know, animals to humans, and that's a not at risk um, breaking down that risk, you know, a practical advice for farmers is when they get in the door, you know, that transition from the yeah. yard maybe into the kitchen, not bringing boots in, washing the hands properly, what, what, what's practical advice? So the key thing I think is when you're coming back in is that, as you said, that there are there are bugs of various kinds mm. in, in the gut of animals that are often not much harm to the animals but can be harmful for, for people, so you want to leave those behind you. So when you're coming into the house, if you take off the boots and the overalls and clean your hands before you come in to, to the house and clean it hands properly with soap and water, that means that you're leaving as much as you can practically, you're leaving the bugs outside the house and then when you come in obviously there's a limit in ordinary life as to how much you can be doing hand hygiene but key points are when you're coming in to the house um, before you prepare food, before you eat and after you've been to the toilet. Who would have thought washing your hands could make such a difference? So just remember, hygiene on your farms can not only save your animal's life, your performance and your production, it can be critical to our own health. Just remember, when we think about disease, we're always trying to reduce down infection through better hygiene and maximise immunity. Hygiene is a critical part of our One Health challenge as we tackle antibiotic resistance.